Hello everyone, this is Schmidt's Kettle Corn here. Um, this tutorial will be showing you how I clean my kettle corn machine. And uh, to the people commenting about how um, I need to clean my kettle, um, I actually do clean my kettle every event. Um, I clean my kettle before every event. Um, and um, sometimes throughout the day, I actually get, th you know, when I decide that I have a little bit of downtime and I decide to do a video, um, oftentimes the video will be throughout the day and it'll be already, you know, pretty much popping and sometimes when I do the caramel corn, which is the biggest pain, um, the, the caramel corn glaze will stick to the end of the bowl here, as you can see in this video. So I actually get my scrub brush and I clean out all the ha the heavy stuff that's in the bowl. So that way I have a really good looking popcorn. Um, that's really important when I have my stuff out on the table there. Um, I have four tables, um, the two tables in front. I have a table on the left for my wash station and for our eating station. I like to separate the food from the actual food that we eat. Um, or that um, I sample and to the food that we eat. So that way um, I don't want to have it look like that we're actually eating and trying to serve food at the same time. I think that's kind of gross. And when I when I used to walk around farmer's markets and see that, I've you know decided to change my mind on that. So then um, once I'm done with that, um, I actually turn on the heat a little bit. And when I turn on the heat, um, the heat actually helps melt some of the sugar right off. Wow. And so um, with that, I actually then use my paddle and then my helper in the front will actually, his job is to clean the sifter. And um, I actually just now got a box cutter. Um, I'm also planning on getting maybe a sander or something to clean off the sides of the, uh, of the, of the sifter. Um, and then um, I'll also use, um, you know, some, some oven cleaner um, down the road too to get the heavier stuff off on top. But those are the three things that I pretty much do to get the um, kettle ready for an event. Um, and then as you can see here, as the video goes on, um, the bowl you can actually see is getting cleaner and then after that I just dry off everything with a um, with with paper towels and then I have a trash bag ready and then um, I have a wash station my wash station is actually um, compromised of water soap um, and enough water for the whole event for the before and after and then I have paper towels and I um, wash my hands throughout the event um, and I also try to um, make sure that I have my helper handle the money and I handle the food and try to separate everything so that way, um, you know, we don't want to, you know, get anybody sick. And I've been pretty good at uh, making sure that people don't get sick. And um, and I try to make sure that I have my popcorn really presentable. The one thing that's the biggest pain here with this kettle is that um, cooking a caramel corn glaze batch, it really sticks to the kettle. So I can't wait to actually get my caramel corn machine ready and up and running this year. And um, th that's probably the biggest thing that's keeping my kettle dirty. Um, but beyond that, um, I do clean my kettle every day. Um, I, I think having cleanliness, um, as they say, cleanliness is next to godliness, uh, is really important, especially in the food industry. Um, and I've never had an issue with uh, my my kettle being dirty in the, in the sense where um, I, I've actually, in fact, one year I was at an event and I was expect, inspected and I you know, had everything cleaned up and I actually passed my inspection. Um, the next thing. So this is how and what my bowl looks like when uh, I have the brown sugar on it. And when I'm done heating it up and cleaning it out, this is pretty much what the bowl looks like. It's, uh, it's pretty clean around throughout. Um, I know I need to do a better job probably on the outer side, but the outer side doesn't touch the popcorn. And um, I will try to uh, do a spring cleaning with that with the, with the oven cleaner uh, coming up. Um, I also clean out the scoops every day. Um, I have a helper who helps me up front. Um, and make sure I do quality control, and it's very important to have everything look pre as presentable as possible. Um, the, having the front look as clean as, as much as you can is really important. And then um, I'll show you here a picture of my buddy Andrew here. This is our little wash station here. And I'll even show you um, like what an actual wash station looks like for an event because a lot of people have asked me that too. Well, this is Shemitah's Kettle Corn signing off. Uh, please enjoy this video and like and subscribe on Facebook. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me below, and I'll try to make some more videos here in the coming days. See you guys.